Hi, uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video, I am going to show you uh, two most uh, popular ways to actually pass a whole object between uh, multiple composable screens. And uh, without uh, further ado, uh, let's start with the first one. So before I show you the first uh, way of uh, passing a whole object between uh, multiple composable screens, uh, first let me just uh, briefly introduce you with this uh, project which I have created. So, uh, as you can see, uh, this project uh, actually contains uh, just uh, two uh, basic uh, screens, a uh, home screen and a detail screen. And each one of those screens just contain uh, one uh, text on the center of uh, that screen. So, uh, there you go, we have just uh, those two screens. We have our navigation graph, so here you go. We also have um, a one model class named a person and that person uh, will actually inherit from a parcelable uh, interface and that uh, model class will also be uh, annotated with a parcelize annotation. And this is important because uh, we are going to need to uh, use a parcelable in order to uh, pass our object between our screens. So, uh, as you can see in our Gradle build file, I have just uh, added that uh, one new plugin, so Kotlin Parcelize. There we go, now I can uh, close that. This is my main activity, so I'm calling uh, our navigation graph and I'm passing a nav controller. Okay, now we can close all of that. And now I'm going to show you that the uh, first way of uh, passing that uh, whole object between uh, multiple screens. So this uh, first way involves uh, the actual uh, back stack entry. So uh, we want to pass uh, that uh, person object uh, from our home screen to our detail screen. So here I'm going to create first the one person object. So let's create here a person. Let's call our model class. So here we go. Let's specify the first name. So uh, John and the last name uh, will be, for example, Doe. Uh, now below that I'm going to call a nav controller and then I'm going to call a current. So current uh, uh, backstack entry. And here I'm going to call a saved state handle. So now let's call a set function. And here we need to specify the first uh, a parameter, which is a key. So let's specify here the key a person. And the actual value uh, will be our person object. So let's pass this a person object right here. And we also need to specify here a question mark. Because um, this current backstack entry uh, is actually nullable. And this is a save state handle as well. So now after we uh, save that uh, or set that uh, person object uh, to our uh, save state handle of a current backstack entry. Uh, next, we just want to navigate uh, to our uh, different screen. So nav controller dot navigate dot uh, screen. So detail screen. Okay, there we go. And uh, now um, basically we are using our current uh, backstack entry to save our person object. And then from our detail screen, we want to access a previous uh, backstack entry and access that uh, same person object which we have uh, specified here. So now uh, let's open up our navigation graph here or our setup navigation graph function. So in our second composable detail screen, I'm going to create the one variable named the result. And here I'm going to call a nav controller dot uh, previous uh, backstack entry. So uh, basically when we are sending or saving that uh, person object, we are using a current backstack entry. And uh, when we are receiving that uh, object, we are using a previous uh, backstack entry. Okay. So it's uh, very important to uh, differentiate those two. Now let's call a saved state handle and let's call a get function. So here we need to specify the exact uh, object uh, which we want to receive. In this case, that's a person uh, model class. And now we need to specify the actual key. So the key is a person. And now after that, we can just uh, save or actually display. So let's specify here uh, details uh, screen. Let's uh, print the first name and also the last name. So now let's run our application and let's uh, observe this log. Okay, so now we are observing that log. As you can see, we are currently at our home screen because that's our start destination. And whenever I click uh, on this uh, whole uh, home screen, uh, then we are going to save that uh, person object into our current backstack entry, save state handle. And when I navigate uh, to our detail screen, uh, then we are going to extract that uh, previous uh, backstack entry and print those uh, values of that object which we have saved. So let's now navigate to our detail screen. 
and there you go so we have printed uh, the first name and the last name now if you are seeing uh, those values uh, multiple times uh, then you can just use for example uh, something like a launched effect so let me just call here a launched effect uh, side effect and here we can add the nav stack entry as a key so whenever that nav stack entry changes only then we will be able to print uh, those values so now let's run this application one more time and now whenever we navigate uh, to our uh, detail screen we are going to print those values only the first time okay so now this uh, first approach of using a backstack entry to save and uh, get that uh, person object has uh, one uh, critical flow so uh, let me just uh, showcase that right here so in our home screen before we navigate to our detail screen let me now uh, try to actually uh, pop off this uh, uh, home screen of the back stack. So now let's run this application and let's observe the logcat. So now if I try to navigate, uh, then we are going to receive null. So now in this case, uh, we are going to print a null instead of those uh, values which we have set from our home screen. And why is that? Well, it's because we have uh, navigated uh, to our details screen, but also we have removed our uh, home screen from the back stack. So as you can see, now when I click back, I'm not going to get back to our home screen. Instead, we're going to just uh, exit our application. So if you're planning to uh, basically uh, navigate to uh, a different screen and pop the current screen uh, of the back stack, uh, then this uh, first approach with uh, back stack entry will not work. So it's uh, very important to note that uh, if you're planning to do that, then uh, this approach uh, will not work. However, if you're not planning to pop uh, off uh, that current uh, screen of the back stack, then everything uh, will work uh, just fine. So as you can see, now everything uh, works uh, perfectly fine. There you go. And now the second approach, which uh, I'm going to show you here, is uh, by using a shared uh, view model. So we're going to basically share a single instance of a view model between uh, multiple composable screens. Uh, let me now uh, comment out uh, this uh, current backstack entry code. And here I'm going to create uh, one uh, view model. So let's create here a view model with the name of a shared view model. Let's of course inherit from a view model. And here I'm going to create one variable named a person. So this variable will actually be a mutable uh, state. So let's call mutable state of, and let's specify here a null. So this will be a default value. Let's just import this uh, runtime get value. Okay, and set value as well. So here as a type, I'm going to specify a nullable person object. And we can also specify here a, um, a private set so that we can only change this uh, person uh, variable only from our shared view model or you can just use a backing uh, field so it's up to you uh, nevertheless uh, here i'm going to create uh, one more function named uh, add a person i'm going to specify here a uh, person object so there you go and here i'm going to update our person variable with that new value of course from this uh, function and now uh, from our navigation graph uh, here I'm going to initialize this uh, shared view model and then that uh, shared view model instance uh, will be passed directly to our home screen and to our detail screen. So now let's go back to our uh, navigation graph. So right here and I'm going to create a new variable named the shared view model of a type of a shared uh, uh, shared view model. And here I'm going to call a view model uh, composable function which will basically create uh, an instance of our view model and now let's uh, also add uh, one more parameter to our uh, home and detail screen so shared view model let's also specify that uh, same parameter in our detail screen there you go let's go here and now let's pass that um, uh, shared view model right here and we can do the same thing for our uh, second screen so right there so now uh, what we're going to do let me just uh, also comment out this uh, launched effect so now let's open up our home screen and here uh, let me just move that right there okay so uh, now from our home screen whenever we click this uh, 
uh, whole screen, then I'm going to just uh, call our share view model dot uh, add person. And then here I'm going to specify that uh, same person object that we have used with our first approach as well. So uh, after we add that uh, person to our share view model, now we're going to access that uh, same person object from our detailed screen, because uh, both of those screens are using the same instance of a share view model. So let's here, uh, for example, create uh, one variable named a person, let's call here a share view model dot person so that we can observe that uh, mutable state or that uh, person object. And now here we can also specify a launch effect. And whenever that uh, person changes, then we can display those uh, two logs. So details screen, here I can call person dot uh, first name and the person dot uh, last name. We can also uh, create here uh, one more block and say uh, if a person is not null, so only when that person is not null, then we are going to print uh, those two values. So now let's run this application. Let's observe this uh, detailed screen again. So uh, now whenever we uh, click this uh, home uh, screen, uh, then before we navigate to our detailed screen, we're going to uh, add or change our person uh, variable from our shared view model. And when we navigate to our details screen, we're going to observe that uh, same person uh, variable and we're going to print uh, its values. So as you can see by default, uh, this person uh, variable has a default value of a null. So now as you can see, uh, let me just click this home and we're going to print those uh, same values. Because before we navigated to our detail screen, we have changed that uh, or updated that uh, person uh, variable from our shared view model. And because that uh, shared view model instance is shared between uh, multiple composable screens, uh, that's why we were able to print those uh, same values. Okay, so now you have seen uh, two different approaches uh, which can help you to pass the whole object uh, between uh, multiple screens in a Jetway Compose. The first approach uh, is by using uh, current and uh, previous uh, backstack entry. Of course, uh, that uh, first approach uh, has uh, one flaw, which I have already mentioned. And the second approach is by using a shared view model, or basically a view model whose instance is shared between multiple composable screens. So be sure to comment down below and like this video if you find it helpful, of course. And uh, see you next one.